For thousands of years, the glaciers of the Tibetan Plateau have been a time capsule holding secrets of our Earth's history. These glaciers have always been of a special interest in scientists hunting for clues from our past. The focus of their search have mostly been fossils and other man-made artifacts. But sometimes, they end up finding something very unexpected and with unpredictable consequences. In 2015, when researchers embarked on an expedition to retrieve the oldest ice on the planet, they were planning to look for clues about our past climate. But during the journey to the Gilia ice cap in Tibetan Plateau, they accidentally discovered some 15,000-year-old viruses. After investigating two deep ice cores from the glacier at a depth of 50 meters, the existence of 33 virus groups was revealed out of which four were known to the scientists, but the other 28 were completely novel. Immediately, they set about rigorously studying the samples to figure out if these ancient viruses were deadly to humans and if they've unearthed something that they shouldn't have. As these virus groups were completely new to science, in order to rule out any contamination, the scientists had to develop an original method to study the microbes in the lab. To access the inner part of the ice cores, the researchers set up shop in a cold room with a temperature of 23 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 5 degrees Celsius. They used a sterilized band saw to cut away 0.2 inches or 0.5 centimeters of ice from the outer layer. Then the researchers washed the ice cores with ethanol to melt another 0.2 inches of ice. Finally, they washed the last 0.2 inches away with sterile water. After all this work of shaving off just 0.6 inches or 1.5 centimeters of ice, the researchers reached an uncontaminated layer that they could study. They published all their findings in January 2020. The viral groups they found represent the microbes that were present in the atmosphere at the time, almost 15,000 years ago. They were trapped in the ice, giving scientists a window to understanding the past climate and microbial evolution. The microbes not only differed significantly across the two ice cores, but were also depth-specific, indicating very different climatic conditions among the ice samples at the time of deposition. Thankfully, these viruses posed no danger to anyone, and investigating them had helped scientists on two fronts. For one, these stowaways gave important information to researchers about how ancient microbes thrived in different climates and environments. It also revealed a lot about their evolution over time and how modern microbes and viruses came to be. And second, if ancient pathogens were to be released into our environment due to the melting of ice caused by climate change, this information can come very handy. Thus, it's in our best interest to know as much about these viruses in advance as possible, so that in a worst case scenario, scientists can do something to prevent their spread over a large population. The Tibetan Plateau is not just home to ancient pathogens, but the region is a treasure trove of history waiting to be discovered. In another unexpected discovery in the Tibetan Plateau, within the cool confines of the Beishia Karst Cave, a monk found something very unusual, a jaw with two huge teeth that, while human, was definitely not like any modern human jaw. It instantly created a buzz among the archaeological community and was soon identified as a Denisovan jaw. But who were these mysterious Denisovans, and how did their remains end up inside a cave in Tibet? It might surprise you to know that we were not the only human species that existed. The story of our evolution began about 7 million years ago, when the lineages that led to Homo sapiens as we know today separated from the chimpanzees. Scientists have discovered over 20 early human species that belong in our family tree. Denisovians were one of those early human species that existed alongside others during the Middle Paleolithic times, an age that broadly spanned from 300,000 to 30,000 years ago. The first Denisovian individual was identified in 2010 based on mitochondrial DNA or mtDNA extracted from a juvenile female finger bone from the Siberian Denisova cave. Before this discovery of the jaw in 2019, now known as the Zia Mandible, named after the province where it was found, it was believed that Denisovians mostly populated the Middle Eurasian plains. 
However, people living all across Asia and Australia today carry Denisovian DNA in their genomes. This discovery of Denisovan remains 1,400 miles from Siberia proved that they ventured much further west across the continent, thus filling a massive gap in our current understanding of these archaic human species. But it was not just ancient humans that made Tibetan Plateau unique. Scientists studying the region for a long time believe it has had a massive impact on the animal ecology of the entire Eurasian continent as well. In 2014, another fossilized jawbone and teeth was unearthed. However, this time, it was of a five million year old fox. It was found along with several other fossils from cold loving mammals. The teeth looked a lot like those of the modern Arctic fox, which now lives across the Arctic from Scandinavia and Russia in the west all the way to Greenland and Iceland in the east. This discovery gave credence to the Out of Tibet hypothesis, which claims that Tibet was the cradle of evolution for pre-Ice Age mammals. This hypothesis was the brainchild of paleontologists from the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles who uncovered the skull of a previously unknown species of an ancient rhino in Tibet. Dated almost 3.7 million years old, the fossilized remains resembled our modern rhinoceroses very closely and the various biological adaptations of this ancient animal had left them perfectly poised to spread across Asia when global temperatures plummeted, ushering in the Ice Age. This find led the researchers to propose that the frigid, high-altitude climate of Tibet was a staging ground where many of the shaggy-coated, cold-loving mammals first adapted to the cold suggesting that iconic Ice Age mammals such as the woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and giant sloths first evolved in the cold weather in Tibet before fanning out over the steppes of Central Asia and into North America. The discovery of the fox jaw in 2014, now identified as a new species called Vulpskia shedingi, had cusps on the teeth, which are in a straight line and pretty sharp, very much like the Arctic foxes of today. The team had also found other fossils from archaic, cold-adapted animals throughout Tibet, such as ancient snow leopards, wolf-sized dogs, and hyenas. These new discoveries mark the first time that an older predecessor to modern Arctic creatures has been found in Tibet, reinforcing the out-of-Tibet hypothesis. But the Tibetan plateau was not done revealing all its secrets yet. Over the years, scientists have also discovered many tools and implements used by archaic humans to survive the harsh conditions of the region. Up until these discoveries, scientists believed that humans lived in this high-altitude region only towards the end of the Holocene Epoch, which began around 11,600 years ago and is still continuing today. After all, year-round cold, little vegetation, and scarce oxygen makes the area as one of the world's most extreme environments. But the Nuer Devu archaeological site in central Tibet, dug up during 2013, revealed a lot of artifacts that proved human existence in the Tibetan plateau way back from the Paleolithic age. Located 4,600 meters above sea level, it's the highest known archaeological site from the Paleolithic period and provides evidence for one of the earliest known presences of humans at a high altitude site at around 40,000 to 30,000 years ago. The site has yielded a range of stone tools, indicating the adaptive ability of early humans to the harsh environment of the roof of the world. Altogether, the team unearthed more than 3,600 stone artifacts, indicating that ancient humans were using technology to adapt to the harsh conditions earlier than scientists thought. The tool patterns found also suggest that people from Tibet and Siberia may have interacted at this time. Another reminder that humans' migrations encompassed a broad range of environments. All these recent discoveries in the glaciers of the Tibetan Plateau has completely changed the perspective of scientists towards this region, painting a picture of an ancient, vibrant community of various human species cohabiting with big woolly mammals. And as the years progressed, each group following the separate paths dictated by environmental and evolutionary factors, only leaving behind scrapes of evidence of their existence for us to find. What do you think will scientists find more such treasures from our past in Tibet? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, because soon we'll post a video about the strangest finds in Siberia, and you won't want to miss it.